Hi, welcome to another edition of Between Two Ferns, the Oscar edition. This is part two. I would like to welcome my first guest, Jessica Chastain. Jessica Chastain. Uh, Jessica is an actress. Uh, you were nominated for um, Zero Dark Thirty. That's correct. Zero Dark Thirty. Is that a movie about Chris Brown? No. How hard did you fight to keep all the torture in the film? Well, you know, it's really important that the film is as accurate as possible, so. It's about uh, capturing Bin Laden, Zero Dark Thirty. Yes. Documentary? No, but, you know. Well, who cares then? Because it's not the real thing. Yeah. Because you're just playing somebody that actually caught him. Yeah. It would have been nice to get the, the actual person. Well, she's undercover in the CIA, so no one can know what she looks like. Well, doesn't she look like you? I can't tell you that. So she looks like an average looking redhead with a weird dress on? Mm. Oh, they're playing you off. It's done? Yeah, you have to leave. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. This is Sally Field, everyone. Yes, it is. I had read that you had gain, gained 25 pounds for the movie. Yeah, I did. How did you do that? Eat Anne Hathaway? Hmm. Do you look at a penny differently now that you've been in, in Lincoln? Does, it, does that make, does that? I just have to tell you something really, really honestly. I hate pennies. I hate them. So you're not Jewish? I, not that I know of. I think I'm Catholic. Well, I'd like to thank Sally Field yes. for coming to the Absolutely. show. Absolutely, very uh, nice to be and here. And really, really, really a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. This way. We're going right this way. We're going this way. Well, I'm very, very excited about having uh, my next guest. Uh, it's. A real pleasure to have him here because he doesn't do a lot of interviews and he's chosen to be here. Please welcome Daniel Day-Lewis. Hey there, how you doing? What are you doing here? Oh. Emmanuel Day-Lewis. Daniel Taylor's. Thank you for coming by. Uh, welcome, Bradley Cooper. Hey, Bradley. Good to be here. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, Zach. I got your text about how bummed out you were about it. that was the start of Black History Month. Are you nominated? I uh, yeah. For what? For for. For best actor, yeah, best actor. How's bragging camp going? Well, I've written a, I've written a speech. Um, really? Since you haven't written a speech, yeah, I had wrote a speech. That's really thoughtful of you. Yeah, I didn't. I know you're busy. When, that's really. That's thank you. Yeah, that's it. Are you serious? Yeah, go ahead and s test it out. When did you write this? Like uh, it's been a couple weeks on it. Thank you. I've just I've just called Daniel Day Lewis to congratulate him on his victory. So I wish that I had been able to fulfill my dream of being a talented, respected actor, but the Academy chosen someone better. I, it just sucks. I'm a loser. I'm going to punch it up. You want me to? You, in that speech, you don't win. You, don't, you know you don't make a concession speech. You should. So I just don't understand. It's like this is the first time in my life that I'm actually part of something. And you know, you know what that means to me, to be a part of something. That's like my Achilles heel. It's like I just want to be included. But why don't you join like the Boy go, Scouts or something wanna, if you want to be a part of something? Why, I, I want to be a part of this community. I found like a fellow person that I fucking love. I used to go see your stand-up all the time. And, it doesn't really you know, play well. You know what I mean? No, I did this victim card that I'm you I'm not being a victim. Well, what I are you being? Friends. That's what friends do. You fight with your brother. I watch you fight with your brother. Yeah, you don't have to bring, bring that up right now on this internet show. My God, all you fucking care about is your goddamn show, no, man. No, but you care about is your fucking ferns. It's like all your fucking ferns, man. It's a fucking joke. I can't you stand it. You throw my ferns in my Who face. Who fuck? You care more about your ferns than yourself, you fucking... I'm so sick of your fucking ferns, man. It's fucking bullshit. Bullshit. I'll call you later. That was a very 
strange thing. Hello, welcome to another edition of Between Two Ferns. I'm your host, uh, I'm your host, Zach. My guest um, today is Tila Tequila. Welcome, Tila. Thank you. You have 3.6 million uh, friends on MySpace. Yes. Who's Daryl? Daryl? I'm just kidding along with, I'm just kidding <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe, you and I could, maybe you and I could be friends and we could um, hang out and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Do you jet ski? Oh my gosh, I love jet skiing. It's always been my dream to jet ski around the world. Uh, Maybe we could do that. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can totally do that. Yeah, uh -huh. it's been really um, enlightening and amazing to talk to you. Um, Thank you. Unfortunately, we have another guest. Oh, well, I had a great time. Yeah, will you stick around, though? Oh, yeah. Okay, absolutely. cool. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, please welcome my next guest, uh, Jennifer Aniston. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, um, can you, I, uh, is there a, can you move that over for T Tila? Just move the fern over. This fern? Yeah, would you mind? Uh, no. Thank you. I don't mind. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, look, it's a chair. Do you want to go ahead and sit here? Oh, okay. No well, thank, thank you. There. Thank you, Tila. Thanks, so. Tila. Nice to meet you. Oh, good to meet you. Thank you. Uh, so welcome, uh, Jennifer. Thanks. Happy to be here. Tila, tell Jennifer a little bit about yourself. Oh, well, um, I sing and I did reality shows. I, was actually, I had my own reality show. You had a reality show? Yeah. What she would do is she'd have a lot of people to, to fight uh, over her to like um, maybe get in bed with her. Did, uh, how, did, did, well, how did that go? Sound familiar, Jennifer? Sorry? Sorry? Oh, so you're, you're, you're Greek? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And um, I'm Greek. I know. And um, you changed your last name for show business. But you kept it. You were committed. No, to the... my name is shortened. It was. It's Galifianakisberg. Mm -hmm. What stuff do you have working on, uh, Jenny? Well, uh, this movie that we're talk supposed to talk about, which is just go with it, with Adam Sandler. I've also worked with Adam Sandler too on a film. Oh, really? really? Yeah. What's he like? Really nice, and he's just. Uh, right? Isn't he really kind? Nice yeah, guy. Yeah, we're one of the nicest. Did you guys hang out a lot? Yeah. Tila. Yeah, absolutely. Afterwards, we'd go hit the trailer and you know snack on a bunch of food. <laughs> and, you know, it was a lot of fun. He's a great guy. Oh, that's a know? great story. Yeah. Mm. If you were forced to choose one state in the U.S. to be struck with a nuclear weapon, one state, or else the entire country would be destroyed, which state would you choose to annihilate? <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Oh, so the whole country is going to be destroyed by a nuclear weapon. I would don't think, well, that's not going to happen. Would you, I don't would you? think. Rhode, Rhode Island. Island. Okay. Wait, hold on. Go ahead. Oh, jeez. Speed stick. Deodorant for your beodorant. That's so cute. <laughs> Tila. You probably have had a lot of uh, wild adventures, like oh, uh, yes, as absolutely. far as like uh, romances involved. You ever done anything like in a car or anything? Oh, the car. You know what? Let me the the I'm so sorry. Like, I don't mean I gotta, to. I got a blowjob once our, on a motorcycle. I'm yeah. gonna let you guys finish because I think you are actually this. This is unfinished business. So I, when I come back, I'm gonna go into the hit the green room. Um, sure, we're all. Do you get enough that. questions? Um, out well, I had a little, another question if you don't mind. Well, we would. We, no, it's for Tila. Yeah, you know what's that? You're fat. No, I'm just saying that I interviewed the president last time, and now I gotta, you know, go back to interviewing dumb actors. That's all I'm saying. No, it's fine. It's fine. He's a big star. <clears throat> Hi. Welcome to uh, another edition of Between Two Ferns. I'm your host, Zach Galifianakis. My guest today, Bradley Pitts. Bradley Pitts, thanks for joining me. It's my pleasure. How old were you when you lost your virginity? Zero? I'll tell you about my, when I lost my virginity. I would really not like to hear that. Showers. Mm. Why don't you take them? <sighs> Do 
you play a lot of uh, people that are kind of uh, Nazi haters, which is weird to me. Why do you say that? Because you look like Hitler's dream. Huh. Yes, I, I, I understand the, the conundrum of it all. Naked pictures of you were in Playgirl magazine many years ago, and I only know that because my dad got a subscription for me after I graduated from junior high school. And um, anyway, tell us about this movie, Furry. It's Fury. Fury. It's not Furry. No. When does that come out on uh, DVD? <clears throat> I, I, I got you a gift, and it's... Do we have the gift? Oh, it's right behind the fern there. <laughs> Jeez, I, I wonder what that is. It's a bassoon. You know? I thought it was a bowling ball. You know, I'm a, I'm a, thank you. You know I'm a dad now. That's a bassoon, you can play them for your kids. Yeah, we don't bassoon in my house anymore. This is off topic just a bit, but uh, do you mind if I borrow one or two of your sperms? Uh, no, I think that would be inappropriate. Okay, it's just written down here, I have to ask. I understand. After a big meal on Thanksgiving, do you ever like unbutton your, your pants and just sit back and go, oh boy. Don't recall doing that. You do a lot of charity work and I think that it's a really great thing you do. And if I was wondering if you could maybe tell us about some of your charity work, because I also am involved in a lot of charity work myself. Like what? Um, I work with this one group called Doctors Without Diplomas. So Brad, tell us about your charity work. Uh, yeah, it's something I'm very proud of. It's called the Make It Right Organization. We, uh, we started building in the Lower Ninth after Hurricane Katrina. Hold on one second, I have to liven this up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Louis C.K. Go and stand up. Hey, how's it going everybody? Great to be here uh, in New York. and. Uh, it's a crazy town. There was a couple of rats on the subway, and I thought they were either a, Ebola or ISIS. I was like, "Get out of here! You know, get out of here, you rats!" Thank um, you. He looks like the reverse Benjamin Buttons, doesn't he? Because he gets uh, older and fatter. I played. I'm playing you. Who are you talking to? I was talking to my good friend, and then about you. But he was in Benjamin Buttons. He was in it. That's why I said it. He's in okay. that movie. Yeah. Who'd you play in Benjamin Buttons? He's but he's Benjamin Bottoms. Buttons. That's the guy. You can't recognize him because because uh, of the makeup stuff. Yeah, I was in makeup. I don't care. Okay. When you and Clooney get dressed up in in your tuxes together, do you ever kind of look at each other and go, "Aren't we a couple of dapper Dans?" Never happened, to my recollection. Is it hard for you to maintain a suntan? Why? Because you live in your wife's shadow. Because I, too, I had a, a romantic fling with someone that was... <coughs> oh, sorry. I had a romantic fling that was my, my last piece. public and it got on my nerves and because she kind of outshined me. That was my last piece. It's, um, I had the same thing with Condi Rice. Oh, really? Tell me what it was like uh, the first time that you uh, laid eyes on Angelina. Was it like one of those classical love stories like when, I don't know, when Ross first saw Rachel? You know that show, Friends? Have you seen that? I like that song. Do you think people focus maybe too much on your looks and, and don't even, you know, realize that you're just a shitty actor? <laughs> Next question.
Hi, my name is Zach Galifianakis. Uh, welcome to Between Two Ferns. I'm your host, Zach Galifianakis. With me today is Timmy Kimballs. Jimmy, thank you for uh, joining me here. Thanks for having me. Uh, you're a late night talk show host. What's it like to uh, be in the late night business? I mean, it's great, you know. It's like something I always wanted to do when I was a kid. I'd watch Letterman, and um, it's really like a dream come true. You ever farted on a Cocker Spaniel? No, no, I can't say that I have. You want a beer? Seems like that one was open. Thanks. Maybe loosen up a little bit. It's nice and warm, just the way I like it. But you can't do that on your show. I, yeah, I could. I mean, there's no rule against it. I just, it's not something I would do. Your girlfriend is Sarah Silverman. What's that like? People always ask, uh, do you guys just crack each other up all the time? And that, you know, that gets tiring. You and Sarah, uh, Sarah being a comedian, do you guys always crack each other up at home and stuff? <laughs> I like to uh, go to uh, Long John Silver's mm -hmm. and be shocked at how much the prices are. And then just look at the cashier and go, only in New York. Huh. You and Sarah could do something like that. Yeah. Well, she doesn't like fish. What? I know what that means. What? <laughs> yeah. That's good, man. Doesn't like fish. The Ben Affleck uh, thing that you did. The what? Ben Affleck. Oh, Ben Affleck? How close did you get to your Ben Affleck's loops? I, <laughs> I got pretty close to him. Did you ever do takes where you're closer? His lips. Than the ones that were on the video? Yeah, like in the rehearsals and stuff. No. You got girl lips. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, we gotta have a, sorry, we have to have a, a word from our, our sponsor. Hi, I'm Barry's of Barry's Bananas. Bananas so good, other bananas enjoy them. Sorry. Our bananas are so delicious, I guarantee you'll peel them apart. Enough! Enough! Is it, is it in between two bananas? But I mean, going on and on about banana stuff. It's... Do you like bananas? Hmm? 